Viv for being here. Um, you, if you've come into this right now, you, I believe you're meant to be here and hear this. So we're talking about to stop feeling safe, to rise into your greatness right now, right here. Not next year in 2023, right here and now. So this is the perfect time to listen to this. If you're feeling stuck, if you feel like 2022 shat you in the foot or it wasn't exact, didn't go exactly as you had planned it and you're wanting to change things around, then then this is the time to listen up. If you don't know who I am and you're thinking, who is this lady in pink? <laughs> I love pink. It, my name is Katie Joy and I really focus on helping women move through and move and create an online business for freedom, fun and financial independence. The style that I teach is packaging up your own signature offer because that's what really transformed things for me. I was selling a lot of um, different sorts of packages, driving my myself insane, um, doing a lot of things, exploring a lot of things. And when I was able to package together um, something that was higher ticket, then it was, I was really be able to create those consistent months. So that's what I want the same for you. My passion really love and get tech, uh, automation, funnels, branding, all of that sort of thing, and the confidence to move forward. I mean, we've all struggled, we've all felt like blocked and like, and, and helping someone really create that confidence and belief in themselves to take what they have and make it real and make it tangible and receive, you know, divine compensation for it. That's what really, really lights me up. So let's dig in to today about why it feels good to, to uh, stay safe. So if you really do think about it, you're supposed to feel safe and it's biologically how we are made up. If you, we are made up to, to, to stay in things that make us feel comfortable and safe because that's how we evolve and we're going to survive. It helps us survive. And if we didn't do things that weren't safe, we could have been, you know, eaten by tigers and animals, uh, poisoned by insects, eating the wrong types of food. Like we're programmed to be alert and do what is um, safe to survive. An interesting side that I really want to get through today is that the point that I made is safe is something that we have survived. So we didn't eat that. Um, someone ate that plant and they got sick. We didn't eat it. We didn't get sick. So we've survived that. So anything that's survivable is safe. But it can also work to our detriment because what it also means is that if you're doing something that you are comfortable in, even if you're in an abusive relationship or you have a shitty job that's like treating you really but like bad or you're not feeling fulfilled and you're it's for you that is safe because that is ultimately like you've survived that that's survivable you know that you can put up with the abuse you can put up with the feeling like shit you you can you survive it, right? But it's not actually going to move you forward and be in your best interest. So that's it. That's the funny flip side of things is that what's survivable um, makes you feel safe, but but it's not what you need to move forward and grow. So let's say you've got this abusive shitty job, right? And then you're like, ah, oh, this person's saying like, I could do this um, and learn this and then sell this, <laughs> offer right just say you learn a skill social media management for example and like wow I can sell like a thousand dollar package and then someone's going to pay me for that like that could be way in your best interest and not have this like job that's killing you and sucking your soul but it doesn't feel safe because you haven't done it before you haven't lived it before um so it's really frightening so that's an interesting point to make how how safety really works and then if we move into courage like what actually is courage courage is the ability to move forward in the face of danger so when you're feeling 
you're feeling the danger, the uncertainty encourages just being able to move forward, feeling it. We often think, oh, that person, you know, can do that. They must be born differently or they're so, they don't have any fear. Um, no, it's not like that. Like even whatever levels people are at, they have fear and they're able to move through it. I remember when I first even started doing um, videos live, like that was giving me fear. Like just because it was new, it was new and I didn't really know what to expect or, you know, you're putting yourself out there, like I was like, whoo, whoo, put yourself out there. Not really like that, but that's what it felt like. You're just bare and all, right? And it was, it was a fear and then you move through it and then you're comfortable with it. And like, I still get it now. If anything that I'm moving into new, like I'm st you still get that fear. So for you moving forward, like Think about what, like recognize that you're feeling the safety and think, how do I get through that and take courage? With courage, it's unless you're kind of like burning fire under your feet, like it's really hard to move through it on your own. So I had this other business and it wasn't until literally I could have lost everything until I was able to stand on the stage and, and present to like, tens, even over 100 people. I had a fear because when I first did it, uh, it was a terrible story. <laughs> like when I first did it, uh, I'm a very spontaneous person. I'm not really good at like if I learn something, doing it, doing it exactly like if I see that people aren't following this step because it was fitness, if I see people aren't following it, then I'll modify it to something easier to get most people doing it right so I'm kind of that like adaptable modifiable person so anyway when I was first when I first stood up and did it I modified something and my backup dancers behind me were doing the original thing so the people in front of me were doing half mine and half theirs and I was mortified I didn't have the confidence then I was just so mortified I just thought I was horrible and shit and it probably took me it took me like for, for never to get back up again until I was about to lose everything and then I was like okay Damn this, my cousin, I'm going to get up. I'm not going to lose everything over this bullshit. Like, I'm going to get up there and do it again. So that's when I went up and um, did it again. Let me just make sure. Yeah, perfect. So unless you are either have that or the other way is when you're taken through like in a container in a space with the group and you're elevated and you're around other people who are doing and succeeding in in the journey where you want to go and then you're elevated somehow with that group because you're seeing other people like do it and 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 make movements in it and then you're kind of like carried in this wave of ascension um, through and that's also how you can move through courage when you're doing that in that kind of like group movement elevation thing so that's why I want I'm putting together I have this incredible vision to bring this women together where from from now we can craft the offers craft the premium branding and digital assets and automation so you're set up for success you're set up for freedom, fun, and financial independence, and you're guaranteed to actually have this all completed by the end of it. So you make that commitment and you're guaranteed to have this set up. So you have your offers, you'll have your digital assets, and then it will be about looking at the best strategies for you to get people to see what you have to offer, talking about that offer and getting people into it right? Um, making the sale. So there's a lot of ways. There's paid traffic, there's organic, there's also an element in there about video, how to use video, how to get confident on camera, how to get, um, how to use reels, how to use social media, both, you know, we call it organic, which is non-paid, and then the paid version. So crafting that through as well that's the next stage so if that's something that you're excited about if you've been listening and thinking yeah Katie like I feel I feel like I am a bit trapped things didn't go things aren't moving forward um I really like your guarantee that my stuff's gonna get done I'm gonna get it done through this like that is the commitment that I'm making to you and you're making to me 
and like, yep, I know that I'm going to finish this. I'm going to get everything set up and done. I'm going to have a freedom-based business so I can have more fun and financial independence. Um, let's just jump on a call because I want to make sure I actually can help you what stage you're, you're at um, and that you've got the right mindset and stuff to move forward. And you can get started just with a $100 deposit and make a decision later. That's totally fine. I wanted to make it so, so easy for you because I know you're going to love it and you're going to be you're going to love it. You're going to love the momentum. You're going to love the community. You're going to love like moving forward and getting momentum moving forward. So if that's interesting, send me a message. Let's have a chat. Um, or you can book in a call as well if you want to do that. So I hope you've had an incredible day. I actually truly hope you've had an incredible 2022. But 2023 is going to be your year. Your year when you're ditching the BS, you're ditching the struggleville, you're ditching the confusion, you're ditching the overwhelm, and you're going, you know what, I'm just going to get this done because this is my dream and this is what I want my life to be like, and I'm going to do it. And I'm going to go on, I'm going to join on board um, with an amazing community that I know is that's going to flow me through, ascend me through together and a small one as well. So you get that real personal, personal feedback, not like some massive group where you get lost or you might have one like random accountability call that's like boom, 30 minutes and you're gone. Like someone who really, really cares about you, <laughs> really, really cares with all their heart about you and your business and your future and you as a human, you with your goals, like your beautiful life and your what you want to move forward through and what you want to do and create in this life because we only have one, only have one. Well, I hope we have more. I hope we are reincarnated, but at the moment we just kind of know that we have one. So I hope to hear from you anyway and have a wonderful time. Thanks. Thanks for being here. Thanks for listening. Sending lots of love and I will see you again next time. Okay. Bye.